Well, hello everybody. It's Grandpa Scott here with another great story and hopefully a very cool adventure for you too. As you can see, I have a guest with me today. It's Crocky. Crocky heard that this story was about his cousin, an alligator. So he asked if he could come along too. And I said, yes, you can. And he got up extra early and brushed all his teeth just so he could hear the story with us today. So are you ready for a new story? All right, the story that we have today is called, I'm glad I'm not an alligator. Oh boy, let's see what this story is all about. And Crocky, are you ready too? You are, good. All right, well you behave and know your story. I'm glad I'm not an alligator is the name of this book. So, I'm glad I'm not a spider hanging from a web all day. By the time I got my shoes tied, I have no time to play. I'm glad I'm not a rooster crowing early in the morn. I'd rather stay and snuggle in my bed. Oh, so soft and warm. Yeah, you like that too, don't you, Crocky? I'm glad I'm not an alligator with so many teeth to brush. Ha! Ah! Crocky, you had to brush all your teeth, didn't you? Did it take a long time? It did, didn't it? Yeah. I'd never have time for a bedtime story, even if I rushed. I'm glad I'm not a fish swimming day and night. I wouldn't mind if the food was good, but the worms give me a fright. Oh my, wouldn't want to eat worms, would we? No. I'm glad I'm not a little gray mouse hiding here and there. I couldn't play ball or roller skate or wear pretty ribbons in my hair. Hey, Crocky, do you wear ribbons? No, I didn't think so. I'm glad I'm not a wise old owl sitting in a tree. I couldn't giggle and tell silly jokes or snuggle on daddy's knee. I'm glad I'm not an elephant who'd want to be one of those. I'd carry a trunk wherever I went and I still have no place for my clothes. Elephants have a big trunk, don't they? Yeah, you agree, don't you, Crocky? There's nothing wrong with any of these. God made them every one. But he made me in a special way, in the image of his son. Whoa, Crocky, whoop! Crocky, you are very excited today. Oh, you're just wiggling all over the place. Maybe you better just sit on Grandpa's lap for the rest of the story. I'm just a little person now, not famous, rich, or strong. Sometimes I do a few things that mother says is wrong. But mother still loves me, and so does dad, and granny and grandpa Scott, and all my friends. They tell me that Jesus loves me too, for he died for my sins. It's good to know that Jesus loves us, and that he's always there. We can talk to him anytime, just by saying a prayer. God loves me now and always will. He made me special, you see, and I will live in heaven with him for all eternity. Was that a good story, Croc? Oh, here he comes. He's back. Boy, you're a wiggler, aren't you? Well, you know what, Crocky? Even know that the story is done. It's not over because now's the time to go outside and have some fun because Grandpa Scott's story is all done.